Eight. So history. Episode three, right? I think. Episode yeah. three. So history. I think so, right, Julian? Yep. Episode three. We're here. So. We're back. Um, this is definitely, I'd say, up there for in my top five for mobile edits. I'd say so too. This one was really cool because it was like zero plan, complete mm -hmm. run and gun. Raquel was at the Drift Sisters retreat two years ago. So this was like 2021 or 20. No, like, I think it was 2020. It was 2020? I think so. Because I, I believe it was the first year we uh, we lived out here in SAC. And because um, we were just bouncing around all over the place. And yeah. then it was like October, I think, maybe something like that. Because okay. I just came back from the uh, my ankle being all mm, twonked. Dude. That was a heavy roll. Yeah. That was still probably the gnarliest ankle roll yeah. I've ever seen. Well, I'm not going to lie. This whole film-ish, like, my ankle was still, like, I probably shouldn't have been riding on it. Because, like, it was, like, <laughs> You're feeling it, it. it was in that zone where, yeah, if I put pressure on it in the wrong way, I was, like, feeling it for Dang. sure. But, all right. Well, this yeah, is, uh, dive in. Get, get bent. Bend Oregon. This spot was crazy. We spent a lot of time at this spot. The gravel was super duper loose, so any like spinning tricks were really hard. There was a lot, uh, yeah, we, I came into a, a couple hitters like that where it was like kind of like snowboard pow. Yeah, it's super powy. This place was crazy. It was like moon dust. Anything you'd hit, it would like make clouds. It would just poof clouds everywhere. Fat Bali. That was a fun little gap. The run out was raunchy. I think kind of tipped a little bit, right? Yeah, look at that. You can see it. <laughs> that back one was, but Jeff was battling the back one at this spot for so long and never put it down. Fat minute. Dude, not. Nah. Yo, this is the first S spin. This is, yeah, the first S spin. That was the invention and creation of the S spin. I was like, mind blown. Didn't even know after seeing this edit when, it, when you first put it together. I. Still, like, was trying to wrap my head around what I did. And I, like, <laughs> had to go back to the playbook and fucking <laughs> learn it. It's funny, because that's how it is with some of these tricks that, like, get invented. You're not sitting there, like, trying to figure it out. You're just like, wait, what if? What about this? And then next thing you know, you have a trick that is a household trick now. If you don't have your S-spins, you better get them. <laughs> Watch our video where he teaches Ren how to S-spin. This little spot was so sweet with this like evening light, just blasting the dirt all around. Dude. That was the same spot as the Espen. And you and Jeff hit like the most heady shit. Jeff's line right here. So sick. So clean. Front nose, foot plant reaver. What are those even called, bro? We gotta come up with a trick book. Dude. The blunt <laughs> to fakie was so technical on that because it's just barely. <laughs> <laughs> Things just barely steep enough to actually pop the tail up and get back down it. And it was so slick that with the slick tire that there was no fucking There wasn't a lot traction. of traction to snap it up. Dude, this one this was too? tight. Bruh. The up, the hubba. It was so hard to get all the way up and then pop off the end. Bro, I ain't never ran so much in my life trying to get this clip for Jeff. Dude, and he battled <laughs> this one out for like an hour. That's why, that's why we put all the attempts in just to show like homie grinding this one out so hard and then just had to call it. But he got close as heck, right? Right on one of these tries, he totally stomps it and the board doesn't give it to him. That one. Dude, yeah. You're like, bro. Classic one wheel biz. <laughs> what a freaking battle, dude. This is this, still one of the dude, tightest things I think I've ever done. This is like the drop down front oh blunt. My God. Dude. It was hard to get there too. It was like log ride to log ride to log ride. Did they lock then in to a blunt? And I had to pull it a little bit to get it to snap right. Nah, that was like fucking heater. Yo, shout out to. Oh man, what are their names? What are those Brahms names? Dude, you have to, have to look it up, honestly. I'm, not a name guy. <laughs> Dude, too many names in my brain. 
big shout out to the two lovely Groms that linked up with us and showed us around a little bit. Groms are the future. I think one of them was Tyler. I think it was Tyler and then, uh, was it Tristan? Or no, am I wrong? I could be wrong. Dude, I feel like such an asshole that I can't remember. Tyler sounds right though. ADHD's a bitch. That little nudge is pretty tech. Yeah, to like the fatty flat drop. nudge to drop. I think Jeff says this is still uh, his best wheel whip. That was stomp. Stomp. I don't know how that thing activated for him like that. I completely stay away from those tricks. I don't know if you've noticed, I've never ever done that <laughs> trick or posted a clip of it. Because when it first came out, like Kyle first started doing them, I'm pretty sure Kyle was one of the first to start doing those in flow coat. Yeah. And I had, I had like jammed my toe. I landed on my foot and like stuffed my toe into my foot. And so when they first started doing those, it hurt my foot so bad to try them. But then I just watched like Jeff just blow his shoes and his boards out and everybody was like, it's such a rough trick on your shoes that, and your board. Yeah, because I feel like it breaks boards well. Like mm -hmm. it's not- Because you're like you're flipping it over on its side and smacking it. Just like it tumbling on the rails. Like trying to whip it back up. Yeah, no, I never really got into like, I've maybe attempted them like five times and I was like, eh, it's not it. I'm good. Not it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you don't got to do every uh, trick. I strongly suggest trying to get as many tricks as you can in your trick book, especially if you want to compete and definitely get those as consistent as you can because in competition you want to be switching it up, but you don't got to learn every trick. Consistency is key though. And Small things matter. And then you, you know, obviously you gotta have a couple big ones in the bag. <laughs> yeah, a couple ham dingers. <laughs> but we're filming right now for our next freestyle video. It's been a minute. Sorry guys, we got a little burnt out on b breaking boards nonstop, but we don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> we're getting out there and we're making a video, whether it takes three boards or 20 boards. <laughs> we're making a banger, y'all. I'm hyped. I'll, I won't really have any feature in it. I'll be mostly shooting, but Elijah, Jesse, Jeff, Probably Johnny, a couple other local guys are going to be throwing down. I'm super excited Ew. for them to come together. But that was Get Bent, guys. If you guys haven't been to Bend, Oregon, go. Go, because it's beautiful. And go right it's a now. great place to one wheel. Pack everything up right now. And please. Ship your one wheel to Bend, Oregon, and just go. Now. Bend. We out. We're going. We'll meet you there. We're actually going to Bend. Yeah, yeah. see ya. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yo, guys. Oh. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you didn't like yet, and you're not subscribed to the channel yet, if you're subscribed and you're not a member, become a member. It's subscribe. Late. And have a wonderful day and float on, my friends.